church, amen. Amen. This is the final Sunday in Black History Month. For those of us who are of the Christian faith, this is the first Sunday of Lent. Wednesday, we ushered in Lent at both our noonday prayer service and our Ash Wednesday worship celebration that we, that we culminated with the imposition of the ashes. Lent is that 40 day period before Easter, excluding Saturdays and Sundays when we focus on the suffering, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is a time of repentance, time of prayer, time of preparation, and a time of self-examination. But far too many times we view Lent only as a time to give up something that we enjoy with little or no thought about giving up the things that impede our relationship with God. No thought at all about laying aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Yes. And so then if, if I give up my Coca-Cola and decide to only drink water for me, it may very well do some good cleaning my physical body. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is that I've really missed the whole essence of Lent. I've not done anything at all to clean up my spiritual body and get my soul right with God. I don't know about you, but I know for a fact that this earthly body of mine is going to soon fade away. Yes. Truth be told, it's fading away already. My steps are shorter than they used to be. My, my eyes are a little dimmer than they used to be. I get up a little slower than I used to. This physical body is already fading away. And what I'm most concerned about is having a building not made by him. The kind of building that gets constructed by cleaning up this spiritual body. So if I'm talking about giving up something for live, what I ought to be doing is giving up the stuff that interferes with and puts a strain on my relationship with Jesus. So I want to talk to you this morning for a few minutes about looking in the mirror. Looking in the mirror. For most of us, it is a reality that we look in the mirror every day of our lives. Yeah. And for some of us who are really full of ourselves, we spend a lot more time in the mirror than most folks. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, we look in the mirror to make sure that we look our best when we step out. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, when we leave the mirror and step out in public, we are pretty confident that we look about as good as we possibly can, all things being considered. But as we start on this journey to the cross with Jesus during this Lenten season, I want us to use our mirrors to take a good look at ourselves, not just externally, but internally as well. In other words, don't just use the mirror to see how good you look. 